Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an entrepreneur and philanthropist, and she has made quite a name for herself on the season 12, on this season 12 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Take a look. I want to be amongst women who tell the it's, truth. It's, it's already been revealed. <laughs> it's not been revealed. We're just disappointed in the fact that it would be somebody who knows all of us who would do something like that. What does it have to do with me? Because from what we are being told, it's you. It just sound like you got a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it means my pleasure in French. Oh, oh. Nice. yes. I like that. You were your husband's pleasure. Mm -hmm. right. That's, that's yeah. a good thing to be. Put <laughs> <laughs> your phone up in this thing, girl. Because okay. we've been talking about it for far too long. Yes. What episode are you all on now? Uh, I think we are on episode 12. Yeah, see, for 12 episodes, we've been talking about the same thing yes, almost. We have been. At least okay. nine out of the 12. So mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm happy to have you. Are you the serpent? You know, I am. Are you the serpent? I am here to set the record straight. All okay. right. Let's hear it. Yes. So, you there. Said yes. No, no, she, no, 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 said that there was an audio or recording. I have never recorded anyone. That is not my character. That is not who I am. Just because I said I had receipts, that did not mean that that was the definition of an audio or recording. Mm, receipts do come in many forms. Absolutely. And that is a rumor that was started, and it spread like wildfire. Who we'll started the rumor? Did I asked you a question. Who started that rumor? Person? Well, Nene, she said the word audio recording. I said I had receipts. I never used those words with her. Well, okay? Is there an audio recording? Did somebody else do Not one? to my knowledge. Have you heard one? I'm just asking. when y'all hear it, let me know, because I ain't heard one yet. Nobody's heard no, no, it. So, so really and truly, no one has recorded anyone in the group? Not as far as I have anything to do with. All right. Minus you. No one has recorded anyone in the group. I guess you could say that, because it wasn't me. So what you're saying, you say, I guess you can say that because it wasn't you. So that, that's insinuating that someone did record someone in the group. Who did it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Why are you asking me? Since I'm just asking you. If I knew, look, I can't give y'all the tea. If I'm I knew, I, I would tell circle. you. I would Outside tell of this you. circle. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, I have nothing to do with that. All okay? right. So she, she's, okay, she cleared that up she real quick. Up. So it's not her. It's not yes. her. So, so leave her oh. alone, guys. Thank you. said she didn't do it. There was one more uh, rumor uh, before Carnival that you were supposedly going to be exiting the show or kicked off the show. Can you clear that up or would you like to address that as well? So there's a lot of rumors going around yeah. this season. Yeah. Uh, that is the first of my knowledge, mm -hmm. but I guess you guys will have to keep watching, but I will give you a teaser. I did film with the ladies a few times after Toronto, so you will continue to see me. Okay, got it. Would you like to step up in a more stronger role on the show? Would you like to be like a, a main cast member? I'm open uh, if the paycheck is right. Them Bravo checks, baby. That's a different type of check, baby. That check's strong. If the paycheck oh, wow. is right, I'll say that. <laughs> okay, so it, you're known to have a lot of isms on the show, and one of them is foo foo. Mm -hmm. Can you break down what foo foo means for the foo -foo. people? Foo foo. The people said you say foo foo a lot. So yes, what is... the fakest of the fakest. Oh, the people well, yes. said you be saying that the women. Yes. Are foo -foo. I'm the women on that show, absolutely. Okay. Y'all watching the same show I do? You, you feel like the women on the show are fake? Absolutely. Do you think that's just their character, or, you, or do you think the show kind of motivates that? What do you think? I would, I would say a little bit of both. Uh, you know, it's just, I, I've watched these women for quite some time now, and I just see how they engage with each other. Uh -huh. At one moment, you guys are cool, and the next, you're going below the belt, saying the nastiest things to one another, and behind each other's back, mind you. Mm -hmm. And then, and the next, they cool. That's just not how I operate with friends. Okay. And so that's why I call them foo-foo. Well, do you think there's a double standard between uh, the OGs of the show and the new ladies? Oh, most certainly there's a double standard. Oh, so. uh, because I feel like these ladies have two different sets of rules for each other. There's a set of rules for how some of them can operate, 
and then there's a rule for some other women. Just like I was saying with the arguments that they have, they're quick to forgive some in the group and then some they decide to take months on end to forgive. And I think what it boils down to is the intimidation factor from the other women. If they're the slightest intimidated by one of them, that's when they'll decide, oh, okay, I'm, you're gonna be an outcast. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna be mean girls. We don't want you in the circle. But if they're not intimidated as much, then it's like, okay, we That's how you just got to be able to stand on your own. So what, That's when you, how it when, is. When you that girl. It don't matter who's against you or for you, when you stand on your own, you're going to win anyway. I, yeah, I guess, but if you that girl, then it makes sense to me. All <laughs> right. Well, we're going to have more with Yovana after the break, and we'll hear about her foundation, Stop the Traffic. Stay with I us. might have a couple more questions about Real Housewives <laughs> before we go into the foundation. <laughs> The traffic was initiated in order to bring more awareness to the human sex trafficking and organ trade here in this country and globally. It is a more than billion dollar a year industry and this epidemic is getting nowhere near the amount of media attention it should be getting. It is our duty as citizens of this country to educate and bring awareness on a consistent basis to those out there who aren't really familiar with human sex trafficking. Welcome oh, back to wow. Sister Circle Live. You just saw a portion of a PSA from the yeah. Rural Housewives of Atlanta, Giovanna's foundation, Stop the Traffic. Yes. Stop yes. the Traffic. Yes. You're doing this important work. Yes. 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 Very, very, very important. That it's actually something that I am very passionate about as well. Uh, but why is it so important to you? Yeah. Well, I created my foundation, Stop the Traffic Global, in order to bring more awareness to the human sex trafficking epidemic here, not only in our city, but in our country and globally. Mm. I don't know if you ladies know this, but Atlanta is the number one hub in the country for human sex trafficking. Yeah. In the past five years alone, uh, it went from being a $232 million a year business to $290 million. That is more than the illegal gun and drug trade here in Atlanta combined. Mm -hmm. And so as a citizen of Atlanta, it was my due diligence to <clears throat> bring light to it. Yeah. What does what your foundation hope to accomplish overall? What is the, the, main, you know, the main objective? Well, the main objective is to bring more awareness overall. It is not portrayed in the media nearly as much as it should be. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I just want to educate men, women, children, I mean, because this has no sex, it has no color, it has no age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what to look for, you could easily potentially become a victim or a family member or a loved one. Would yeah. you go over some of the things that we should be mindful of or we, vigilant? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, so never travel anywhere alone at night if you, if, if you can help it. Uh, if you're a lady especially, don't go to a parking lot at night without asking for a security guard to escort you. Oh, a lot of the times we get so used to being on our phones and we get so mm -hmm. in focus in our phones and we're not paying attention mm -hmm. to our surroundings and these predators are looking for women yes. who are obviously not paying attention. Right. Well, Yvonne, we thank you yeah. so much for being Absolutely. here with us today. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. be sure to follow Yvonne on Instagram at Yvonne Montpazier to yes. keep up with what is going on with her and the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV and all social media platforms. Thank you. I like that.